Hi students, now we are going to explain the working of a pile of plates. You can see the diagrammatic arrangement for the pile of plates. In the examination, when you write this answer, first you should mention what it is. Pile, piling means what? Arranging something one over the other. Here we are going to arrange a pile of glass plates. You can see here, there are so many glass plates. So these glass plates are arranged one over the other. And they are inclined, inclined to the axis of a cylindrical tube. Okay. So this device consists of a cylindrical tube inside which glass plates are arranged, inclined to the axis of the tube. And this angle at which the glass plates are piled with the axis of the tube. So this is 33.7 degree. This angle is 33.7 degree with the axis of the tube. So at this point of incidence you draw a normal. So N is the normal drawn at the point of incidence. The angle made by the incident unpolarized beam of light. This angle. So this is the angle of incidence. So the angle of incidence I is equal to 90 minus 33.7. So that this is equal to 50. 6.3 degree. So there is a purpose of inclining the glass plates at this angle 33.7 degree. Then only the angle of incidence of this unpolarized light will be equal to 56.3. What is special about this angle 56.3? Because this is the polarizing angle for the glass. Understand? So, this angle of incidence is found to be equal to the polarizing angle for the glass surface. So, at this polarizing angle, 56.3 degree, the light is incident means the reflected ray will be completely polarized. Understand? So, you can see this arrangement of pile of plates. So, what it is actually it is a device which is used to produce, which is used to produce polarized light. Okay, on what principle this device is working? You have to mention the principle of working of this pile of plates. Very simple, polarization by reflection. Understand? So this is a working on the principle of polarization by reflection. So in the examination, point points you will have to write. Then the third one is angle of inclination. So angle of inclination of the plates is 33.7 degree with the axis of the tube. Okay. Hence the angle of incidence will be equal to what 90 minus 33.7 is 56.3 degree that is equal to the polarizing angle. Now at this angle of incidence the reflected light will be completely polarized and the transmitted light okay whichever light is coming out along the axis of the tube is called as what a transmitted light. Here suppose if these uh, electric vibrations uh, okay, are taking place uh, along the plane of the board, along the plane of the board. Okay, whichever vibrations are occurring perpendicular to the plane of the board, perpendicular to the plane of the board, they will be reflected. Understand? And also polarized. And whichever is vibrating along the plane of the board, they will be transmitted out. Understand? This transmitted light may be mostly unpolarized or partially polarized, but not fully polarized. Understand? So, only the reflector light is completely polarized. And that is why, what is its use? Use The use of pile of plate is to polarize. It is used to polarize 
and also analyze the light and also analyze the light so it's a very simple discussion normally this is used as a three mark question in the board examination understood so what is the pile of plate pile of plates is an arrangement or a device which is used to produce polarized light on what principle does it work it works on the principle of polarization by reflection okay how do you explain the construction it consists of a cylindrical tube inside which okay sheets of a glass are stacked or piled one over the other at an angle of inclination 33.7 degree with the axis of the tube so that the angle of incidence is 90 minus 33.7 is equal to 53.56.3 degree so which is supposed to be what the polarizing angle for the glass so i hope uh, you must have understood uh, the construction and working of the pile of plates well fine